Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Link Enforcer, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install XL Engine into Star Wars Dark Forces. So we get the graphics looking a little bit better, and you might be able to have a little bit more fun playing the game. And overall, um, it should make things look better and easier on the eyes, especially if you're playing on a bigger screen, bigger monitor. So, with that said, um, you can download the Steam version or the GOG version. Either one will work. As far as I'm aware, um, you shouldn't have any problems. Uh, once you get it installed, especially if you've installed it with Steam, uh, or even GOG, I think, uh, does this every once in a while, go ahead and run the game. Make sure there's no prerequisites that need to be installed with it. So we're going to launch the game. Game initially runs through DOSBox. Um... But we're going to exit out as soon as it launches. And there we go. So now uh, all the links you're going to need are going to be in the description below, guys. So head down to that description. And the first uh, link you're wanting to click on is going to be the archive.org link. And here we're going to get the XL engine. Uh, just come down here, click on the zip, and download it. Second download is going to be from the openal.org link and you'll download this openal 1.1 windows installer right here uh, once that's done you've got your two files that you're going to need to use with this and you're done with the uh, with, with any kind of downloads um, next we're going to move over to our location that the game is installed on whether that be on steam or GOG mine's on steam and uh, wherever you have your mods located hop into this folder right here for Dark Forces. Go in and extract the two files that you just downloaded. And we're going to move into our Dark Forces folder. Once you're in your Dark Forces folder, go into the XL Engine folder that you just extract, and you're going to copy all of these files and paste them into your Dark Forces folder. The Open AL, go ahead and open that up. Uh, I've seen people install this without dropping it in here in the Dark Forces folder and it being just fine. I've also seen people drop it in the Dark Forces folder and it being just fine. Basically what it does is it, if you have any sound issues, um, it should fix those issues. So just to be safe, we're going to copy it, paste it, and we're going to go ahead and run it which will give you this uh, little pop-up here. And all you gotta do is click OK, and that's it, it's installed. Um, you're not gonna see an open al.dll uh, in, in, your, in your game folder or anything like that. Um, I believe it stalls in the system folder somewhere. Uh, but once that's done, you're good with that. Now you need to double click on the XL engine launcher. Uh, you've got some games over here where you're just worried about Dark Forces, so click on that. And we're going to navigate to our game data path. Alright guys, so once you have navigated to that path when you click on Browse, um, you're going to want to make sure that you are dealing with the Dark Forces folder, of course, but you are going to want to click on the game folder. If you just click on Dark Forces, this is not going to work. So click on the game folder, and then click OK. Now you should be good. You can go ahead and click uh, click off this here. Also, from now on, you're going to be using Dark XL, uh, the Dark XL executable right here to launch the game. So you can always just um, create a shortcut and uh, send it to the desktop, just like that. So now you just have to double click it right there on the desktop, and it will launch for you. Now there's something I want to show you guys real quick because it's a problem that I ran into. Maybe you ran into it as well. A lot of the tutorials I've seen are like, hey, you're good. It's good to run. Go ahead and run it. Um, so when I double click Dark XL, I get this error right here. Uh, this is an easy fix. So just click OK. Now once we're back here, You'll just right click Dark XL, come down to Properties, go over to Compatibility, and set it to Windows XP Service Pack 2. Click Apply, OK. Run the game again. 
And voila, we are in. Now, first things first. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to settings. You're going to want to come into your resolution um, settings right here, and you're going to want to move it over to your screen resolution, whatever that may be. Minus 1920 by 1080, so let's find that. Quick, I'm almost there. Okay, 1920 by 1080, and we're going to make sure that it's at... And you can go up to 120 hertz or 240 hertz. Um, that's actually tops out right there. I'm not sure if that's because it's detecting my screen or not, or if this is just the limitations of the game. Um, but we'll run it at 85 hertz and click OK. And everything looks a lot nicer now. Uh, all you got to do is launch the game, and it will launch. Um, go ahead. Um, forgot to enter my name, but whatever. Um, begin a mission. It'll take you kind of through the same stuff that you would normally see, but when you actually get into the game, it's going to look a lot better. Things are just so much more upscaled, and it just looks a lot nicer. Is there another guy? No, there wasn't. There's a guy right there. So... Take him down. That's pretty much how you get Dark XC. There's, there's somebody else. Where, where are they at? Where are they at? Oh, they're up there. Holy moly. Okay. Alright. That's pretty much how you get Dark XL installed, guys. Um, if you have any questions, don't, uh, don't hesitate to ask down in the comments below. If you have any problems, let me know. And with that said, guys, you've got it installed, and you are good to play. Really appreciate you guys coming out, and I will catch you guys in the next one. You guys take care. Later.